name is Simon from Nexus. In this video I'm going to talk about how to calibrate an NX system. Now people often get frightened by the word calibration, but all we mean by calibration is simply personalising your system for your boat. And we're going to do the calibration through the sea data instrument, which is here. So if Henry can come on the sea data, we can show you how to do this. Now to get into the calibration values, all we do is press along, press on set and it comes to C10 straight away. I'm going to move it over to C11 and these are the speed units and as you can see we've got knots on at the moment. We can change that if we want very simply by a short press on set and then by using plus and minus. And the available options are kilometers per hour, miles per hour or knots and I'm happy with knots so I'm going to confirm that with set. Moving on to C12, this is calibration for the speed. This is a bit of a complicated issue that is um, probably something you wouldn't do straight away once you install the system. This is if your speed value is off. You can calibrate it later and there's a formula on how to do that in the instruction books. C13 is the dampening for speed and we're going to talk about dampening later on when we talk about wind values. C14 is the depth units, and again we can have a look at what units are available here. At the moment it's preset to meters, but we can choose feet or fathoms. Again, I'm happy with meters, so I'm going to confirm with set. Now, C15 is something that you will probably have to do straight away once you install the system. This is calibrating the depth transducer. So you can either read it from your bottom of your keel or from the water line. Now, at the moment, it is set for plus 0, 0, 0.4. That's to say it's adding on 40 centimetres from the transducer. In other words, we have factory set it for, because we think that most transducers are set 40 centimetres below the water line and you want to read the depth from the water line. However, my boat, the good ship Nexus, the transducer is actually 50 centimetres below the waterline. So I need to alter that. So all I need to do is select the 4 with page and change it to a 5 and confirm with set. So now we've set the transducer for to reading from the waterline for where a, a boat has the transducer 50 centimetres below the waterline. However, I'm the kind of sailor that wants to know when I'm going to hit things. So I want to read my depth reading from the bottom of my keel. So all I simply do is go to set, and I'm going to change the plus signal to a minus. Brings it up to the minus there. And on the good ship Nexus, my keel is actually 60 centimetres below where the transducer is. So I'm just going to move it over to highlight the 5. And I'm going to change that to a 6 and confirm with set. So now what we've done, we're reading the, uh, the depth from the bottom of the keel where the keel is 60 centimetres below the transducer. Moving on, 16 is the temperature... Oh, sorry. 16 is the temperature units. We can choose between centigrade or Fahrenheit. Uh, 17 is the temperature calibration, again if we notice the temperature is off. 18 is the air pressure units. Wind speed calibration. Now, at the moment, because Nexus is a Swedish company, the reading is meters per second. But I'm a born and bred Englishman and I don't understand what a meters per second is. What I want is knots. So I'm going to press set plus to highlight knots and then confirm with set. Before I do that we could also have both at scale if we wanted but I want knots and I'm going to confirm that with set. C20 is also a calibration for the wind angle. Now say for example you can't mount the wind transducer over the centre line of your boat forward facing. Let's say for example that on my boat, because I've got a VHF antenna in the way, 
I've had to mount my wind transducer 10 degrees off to starboard. So what I'm going to do is alter that to compensate the system for that. So what I'm going to do is press set and as it's off to starboard, what I, 10 degrees off to starboard, I need to alter that to read 350. So I just change everything with the plus and minus buttons, moving over with page, and it's now reading 350. So once again, if I'm 10 degrees over to starboard, this will now bring the reading back to over the center line of the boat. And I confirm with set. Moving on to C21, this is the dampening of the wind. Now, dampening is quite simply the rate of information that is received uh, at the instruments. Now, with wind information, that is affected by the mass being moved up and down, by gusts, and obviously you want an average of all that to get a, um, a good solid reading. So we can increase the dampening of the wind. So all we do is press set. And then we can raise that up if we want. I'm going to choose D2 because I want a nice, slower average reading from the, uh, the wind transducer. And again, I confirm that with set. And then to come back to the head screen, all I do is page and then set. And then we're ready to rock and roll. So... Hope you've all enjoyed that and I hope you understand it. It's a simple run through and don't be frightened about calibration, just remember personalization. Thank you.